The Philadelphia Eagles were 11-2 with Wentz, and Wentz was an MVP candidate with 33 touchdown passes, the most in the league, and just seven interceptions. Now, Nick Foles, who led the Eagles four years ago, is back to be their quarterback now. Wilbon, can the Eagles still thrive or even survive without Carson Wentz? I think neither. I mean, I, you could talk me into th- to survive. You're not going to talk me into thrive. Um, and I understand that Foles. Remember it last week, and we were talking about how he was Carson Wentz a few years ago, four years ago. He had 27 and two. 27 and two. And the next year, you could get him for a box of donuts. Mike, honestly, I didn't know he was still in the I mean, league, well, we, that's, let alone you and on the I Eagles. I had no this. idea. We were no like, idea. whatever happened to Nick Foles? Right. Whatever right. happened, he's he's back on the team, not still on the team. And this works well. Stout defense, good running game. We're going to talk about that. That's kind of a theme of this show. So, Tony, can they survive? Maybe. But this is a quarterback league, not a backup quarterback league, a star quarterback league. I will tell you that Case Keenum is doing very well this year, and you never would have thought of him as a starting quarterback in the league. That's right. That's true. Jared Goff last year. Well, but he's young. He's coming. But he couldn't do anything, and now he's all of a sudden good. Nick Foles had that one great year. The Philadelphia Eagles can run the ball. They can. And if, and if Nick Foles can pass, the Philadelphia Eagles can catch the ball. I'm, I'm going to go back and jar your memory a little okay. bit. Okay. Jeff Hostetler. Phil Sims went down not this late in the season, that's I don't think. the last time, right? I understand. Yeah, it was. It, Sims only missed the last two games, so I think, it, or maybe so the last it three. Can, it can be done. It I would bet done. against it myself, but it can be done. And, and the, it, the amazing thing is, if you watch, when you find out that he got hurt, that Wentz got hurt, and you see the replay a hundred times, you say, what? what? It doesn't this look that bad. This happen every play. But it happened on it the happen plant. It happened every play. It happened on the plant. That's right. what it often on the happens plant. with these knee injuries, Tony. And, I'm, you know, Tom Brady came in from the pen at some point, but different circumstance. Tony, I, I, I don't want to hate on Foles. He's had a great season. He's done this. He's familiar. And even with just playing in Philly with the stress and the pressure yeah. and the demands, he's familiar with that. He's got a leg up here on most backup so. quarterbacks. But Tony, I think so. Come on now. No, I wouldn't. No. Hostetler Sims was 30, 30 years ago, yeah. right? I mean, look, I think it's a big blow. Yeah, it's a big but blow. But if you like the variety of their offense, they have a chance. Because there are no yeah. great teams in the NFC. No, they're not. No great teams. They're not. They're not. And that, that's another reason why you say, wait a minute, they can hold off these others. No. Others aren't great either. Case Keenum.